Hello friends and once again welcome to PISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you another interesting scenario. In today's example, I would be helping you to understand how you can call data management rule using APM Automate. And by doing this, I would be automating my data load process. So let's get started. Before I run data load uh, rule using EPM Automate, I manually run this and show you how it exactly works. So I have got a smart view and before data load, there is no data. So I take a screenshot before data load and I have got a sample data file, a very basic data file so that you know we pay attention to the process rather than on data. So I have a data file and I have got a smart view output. Mapping, data management mapping and all, I have already done it. And I'm going to run this manually and show you how the data gets populated. So I manually run this, import from source and export to my target. I'm loading for February 2022. So when I run this, I got a process ID 55 and extract ID. You should take a screenshot of process ID. Process ID is 55. So latest load. And one more interesting thing I like to show you. This is being called with a user called EPM Automate. So this is being EPM default uh, cloud. This is a user being used over here. You can take a screenshot. And this was your latest load. So after this load process ran successfully, let's check the status and look at the output. So I'll look at the status of my load process. The load runs successfully. When I look at data load workbench, I see the data got loaded successfully. And then I finally check the output to smart view. This I ran manually, right? Now I want the same process to be automated before data loading and after data loading. You see the difference, isn't it? I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time uh, I would want this process to be done without any human intervention. I like to call this process using EPM Automate. So here I have got an EPM Automate script. You see the first few line is to require to capture username, password and URL in order to log into your uh, planning instance. So I am prompting it from the user and with the argument or a prompt, please enter environment URL. The username I am using app maintenance. So you see my process would invoke with this user ID and the password is also I'm getting prompted by using percent symbol and the username. Uh, I'm actually asking to input the password for the given user. This is variable. The so next time I'm going to log in EPM automate login with the username, password and URL. These three are being passed as an argument. If this process fails, it return error level. If error level is other than zero, not equal to zero. If it is successful, it returns zero. If it is other than zero, system is going to skip all the instruction and hop directly to this label, error label, and system is going to exit with the remaining processes. In nutshell, if login fails, nothing is going to happen subsequently. Followed by the login, I run over here, EPM Automate run data rule. This is basically an argument. If you look at the definition of this, uh, run data load rule executes a data management data load data load rule process and it takes a couple of argument epm automate run data load rule rule name start period and period import mode and export mode right so when i run this system ask me import and export the same thing i'm passing over here as an argument so you see when i invoke this it asking me what the period import and export mode exactly same thing i'm passing over here as an argument run data load rule name start period and period import mode and export mode so i use over here epm automate run load data load rule my rule name is vision data one vision data one that's my rule name see vision data one and i'm loading for february 2022 february 2022 isn't it my import mode is replace and export mode is store data which is my last argument. So when I call this, uh, when I call this, my system is going to ignore, execute this instruction. And if this fails, uh, this return other than zero value. 
right? If it return other than zero value, it means my data load rule failed and it will skip rest of the command and exit the code, right? Let's do it again. So before I run it, I like to clear all data. I clear all data so that I could see how data load run is taking place. I don't have any data now. I'm going to run this rule with an administrator. Also, I'll capture this process details. So last process is 55. You see a new process, 56 will be invoked. So these are my batch file. This is my batch file. And uh, I'll see how this batch file run line by line. I right click and run as an administrator, this batch file. So let me check where this file is stored. In EPM Automate folder. So I go to EPM Automate folder. This is my batch file. Right click, run as administrator. So first it is asking me, as you see, uh, it is asking me to enter username and password. It is asking me to enter username and password and URL, right? So let me put this credential. This is my URL, which I pass as an argument. Uh, password is password in this example, which is my second argument. So system is going to log in with these credentials. EPM automate login, username, password, and URL. See login successful. And had it been failed, it would have skipped rest of the instruction. Then I'm going to run EPM automate data load rule. The rule is also being run successfully. And you can see the new rule. The process ID 55. When I refresh, it should be 56. Process ID 56, right? This process has been invoked by app maintenance. So in my example, the username is app maintenance. It means this process is invoked by me only, right? And when you look at the final instruction, all instruction runs successfully. And it asking it, I've given a pause over here. So my instruction pause over here. And I finally look at the output. When I refresh the output. So this is my data file. Look at a 360 degree view. This is my data file. This is my smart view output. And this is my uh, EPM automate script, right? So this is a simple example how you automate your data load process. In a subsequent example, I show you advanced EPM automate expressions. Thanks for joining today's session. Should you have any question, please, please feel free to reach out to bsp solution.com.